Hello everyone, welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. This week there have been rumours of a British and Irish Rugby League um, that would potentially replace the United Rugby Championship and see a new league form with the Premiership merging with the URC teams from Ireland, Scotland and Wales, um, but not including both the Italian and the South African teams, um, a league which apparently might uh, could kick off as early as 2026 um, as the Premiership continues to try and find a way to make it more sustainable. Uh, we saw rumours about conversations about a potential Anglo-Welsh league, um, which would have had the Premiership side alongside the four Welsh sides. Um, and apparently they've now taken it one step further and are looking to try and bring in the Irish and the Scottish sides with the IRFU, uh, the Irish Rugby Football Union, in particular, apparently open to discussions. However, the URC itself has come out and dismissed any conversations saying that they are fully focused on growing the URC and no such conversations have taken place as of yet. Before we get into this, please do smash like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. So the Telegraph yesterday uh, released a report that uh, the English are the English teams, the Premiership teams, are, are looking at uh, creating this British and Irish uh, league. Uh, the idea is they're trying to broaden the revenue base and increase future television deals. Essentially, the Premiership is uh, under a lot of pressure uh, you know, financially. We've seen, they've seen a lot of their teams going under, for example and uh, not getting the kind of TV viewership and the revenue that they need to continue happening. And this has been happening for a while, which is why they looked at potentially that sort of Anglo-Welsh team, um, for example. And apparently, according to Telegraph, it says that the Premiership Board is currently undertaking a strategic review um, to explore ways of increasing the value of future broadcasting deals ahead of going to market early next year for a new broadcasting deal for the start of the 2026 season, having signed a two-year deal with TNT earlier this year. Um, they have apparently looked at the creation of British Irish League without South Africa and Italian clubs, and a number of different uh, options were presented. Now, the issue comes with, first of all, in terms of the feasibility and why this might work, um, is the big thing about the stakes in the URC, where um, it is the URC is currently owned by CBC, which is a private equity firm. Uh, it holds a significant stake in both the Premiership Rugby and the URC, and apparently they're open to the idea. Um, Italy, Scotland, you know, uh, England, uh, Ireland, and Wales are all full members of the URC, of which SAFCA is not yet, because that might still, uh, well, that will still happen at the end of the season, in theory, the SAFCA teams become full members of the URC. Uh, we're really seeing a little bit of overlap. We are seeing one-off games, for example, and um, Bath and Bristol um, will be playing in Cardiff, for example. Um, there'll be a couple of other games between the Welsh and the English sides so looking to try and find a sort of maximum revenue. Um, obviously, this would also have big impacts on EPCR, for example, apparently a knockout being looked at that. Um, but uh, that has apparently all been sort of uh, uh, dismissed by the URC, who released the following statement. Uh, it says that the Vodacom URC has issued a statement in response to unsubstantiated media claims that the URC and English Premiership were planning to combine the competition to the exclusion of the South African and Italian URC teams. It says the URC, the URC said as follows. Uh, contrary to media reports, the Vodacom United Rugby Championship is not engaged in discussions regarding a British and Irish League. Since the introduction of the four South African teams in 2021, the league has enjoyed a sustained period of outstanding success, achieving record attendance, uh, sorry, record audiences, attendances, social media growth, and new levels of competitiveness. This is due to, in, in great part to the efforts of all six teams across Ireland, Italy, Scotland, South Africa, and Wales, which have elevated the league to new heights. The Vodacom United Rugby Championship is committed to continuing this pace of growth in the new season and far into the future. So uh, they're coming out and saying no. They then actually added onto the article on the website uh, the following stats with regards to the growth, saying that attendance was up to 1.69 million fans, a growth of 3%, averaging 11.2 thousand per game. Uh, broadcast was up to 47.7 million for the total audience, uh, an upward growth of 27% with 2.39 million viewers per round, including a record 3.4 million viewers in a single round for round 11 and a 4.7 million playoff audience. 
Their social media gra um, growth is the fastest growing competition up by 29% to 1.4 million followers across various platforms, 22% engagement, and a club follower growth of 94%. And on YouTube particularly, they are up 366%, up to 40.6 million total views, a subscriber base of 140,000. Um, which is a growth of 84%. Um, basically, if you go back a year ago, this channel was actually bigger than the URC. Fun fact. <laughs> no longer the case, obviously. Um, I think it's good to see that they've uh, come out with a statement. Um, in terms of this, we've often seen why the, the British teams are looking, because the premiership's just not working as a model. Uh, you know, lots and lots of issues, lots of teams going under, you know, financially, they've kind of overspent over the years, and they've created a league which is not sustainable. And unfortunately for them, they've got a league in the URC, which is happening across the pond, and uh, some people across the border, uh, and across the way, and it is thriving. It is thriving. The URC is doing really, really well. And I don't think too many people expect it to, to do as well as it's done so far. And as a result, they're now trying to sort of get a piece of the pie because the pie is is being well cooked and well baked and uh, being served. And uh, from a certain perspective, it would be an absolute disaster. It would leave us up the creek without a paddle. It would have meant we, we've left Super Rugby, for example, and I don't think it's really, I think that probably take us back, but we don't want to go back that way because we've invested a, over a billion rand into going into the URC. Um, and suddenly we'd be left with what? You know, the Italian teams, for example, you don't really want to just play the Italian teams, you want to play against those other sides. So this would be an absolute disaster if it were to happen. However, they have come out and said it's not going to happen. And I don't think it will, to be honest, because I think financially, and from a player, uh, a development point of view, I think it is far more value to have, first of all, South African audience. That's why their socials and stuff are up so much, because South Africa audience is massive more than just in South Africa, the expat audience, for example, um, and one of the most dedicated rugby audiences in the world. And uh, as a result, you know, broadcast revenue is very big, you know, and, 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 and that's a very big point. Obviously, you know, it would be a lot cheaper to not have South African teams in terms of the traveling, for example. Um, and, and I think, you know, you kind of create those rivalries, sort of six nation rivalries more within. They might, might be able to get more broadcast revenue out of it, potentially, uh, in terms of the regions, where it will be uh, it'll eclipse what they're currently getting with South African teams. We don't entirely sure where the sponsorship might go up or down. Again, not entirely sure, but um, I don't see the movie. As I, said, I, I do think the URC is doing is going really well. I think there are challenges, and every season we're sort of seeing these challenges, but we're also overcoming these challenges. You know, we are also finding ways to make it work, and I think it's only going to get better. You know, um, hopefully more sponsors come on board. For example, you can kind of sort out certain logistical issues, and we can have a great league. But the league itself is competitive. We've seen some really good games. We're seeing big crowds, for example. Um, so the league's going really, really well. There are always going to be other complications which we need to overcome. Um, but I think we've taken enough state, uh, steps to say that we will overcome these. Uh, but what do you think? Let me know down in the comments below. Smash a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. Um, should the uh, should there be a British and Irish league, or should we continue with the URC? Let me know down in the comments below. And uh, I'll chat to you guys all very soon.